Yeah. It's only this is mainly two shows. Two shows, yeah. because I know next week, I think next week all the superhero yeah, shows start. Yeah, next superhero stuff. Is Flash first? I thought it was the following week. No, I think it's next week. It's next week. Uh, it's, it was it's October. Week. No, yeah, yeah. We still right, have a week of September left. So, yeah, it's a week after. I know something starts next week. So, I don't something know. starts a whole week. lot of shit about well, start. Yeah, because I know Superstore starts tonight, and... Oh. Uh, uh, Lethal Weapon was last night too. Which yes, I, uh, I, I did not. Uh, I, 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 have no okay. inten- I have no intention of fucking seeing that because I know. I'm not know, sure about because I know that in eight episodes they're gonna fucking cancel it. How do you know? Because you it is, it? because they did the same they, thing they with Rush uh, Hour. With Rush Hour, well, and I feel like they're gonna do the same thing with MacGyver that comes out later. We will see. The first episode was actually pretty good. I was so was the first episode of Rush Hour. And then there's Exorcist. I heard it. I don't know what that's gonna be like. I don't know. But I commercial that, straight. That is honestly one of those shows where I might actually watch because even if it sucks, I feel like it's gonna be the bad well, kind of sucks. Just, I'm, I'm waiting to see the how they the the I guess the tone because the the yeah. original Exorcist is amazing. It's, it's amazing. But the, keep in mind the world it's set in is very grounded and very oh, kind of realistic. Yeah. However, you know there are definitely fantastic okay. elements. If they do that, I'm on board. But if the, they go like. American Horror Story? I don't... Okay, so I was watching well, American Horror American. Story. It depends on what season. It depends. Uh, it depends. I was watching that because I've been watching this latest season, trying to give it another shot because the freak show just sucked, in my opinion. I only watched season one of American um, Horror Story. The best one to me was the one about the witches in New Orleans. I have no idea. It was the first one, Kathy Bates... No Show idea. That. I only saw like the first season, okay? But I'm just telling you, it's the first one when uh, Kathy Bates started becoming a regular in yeah. the series. And um, it's just, to me, it has the best story and plot. But anyway, um, there was a commer- there was multiple commercials for The Exorcist while uh, American Horror Story was shown. And the tone that the commercials were setting were some eerie, creepy okay, just, shit. As long as they don't, I don't want them like to go, you, like, B-movie, horror movie, like, paranormal yeah, activity shit. Yeah. As long as they don't go that route and no, they try to stay no, this, true. The, I was watching American Horror Story and the commercial for Exorcist was freaking me out more than the actual American Horror Here's Story episode. Here's my whole thing about the, uh, the, the, Exorcist, um, the Exorcist is how are you going to drag? How are you going to create a season out of it? Because like the movie, movie I understand the movie. I, it's a two hour long movie. Okay, sure, yeah, freaks you out, but that's just it. How are you going to make a twelve episode series out of it? it, it I imagine they're going to do what they pretty much what they're doing with Lethal Weapon because Re- Lethal Weapon, of course, was a single yeah. single movie. Yeah. However, now they just basically turn it into a more action oriented like crime show where they investigate crime. Yeah. I would imagine that this new Exorcist. I don't know any, really anything about it. I would imagine that it's going to be uh, you know a set a couple of priests or one or two of them who are exorcists mm-hmm. who go around. Exorcist, and maybe they have individual cases, and then kind of maybe one go back bigger the, narrative. Yeah, but say it's only if they're focused on like this main family. But while they're doing this main family, it's yeah. like okay, your child is gone for them. Whatever, so they, can, they, they can, go can, back, and it's like oh no, shit, the devil is still they, there. They could be tracking, you know, like a specific demon or something, yeah, or, yeah. You know, something like that. I, I'm sure I'll check it out. It out. Um, there was that. I watch Lucifer. I know no one here does. I, don't know. I, I am. My sorry, mom watches Andrew. Lucifer. I'm I sorry. like it. I like it a lot. I I, like I started a couple movie. episodes. Just I like it because I love the graphic novel it's based off of. Mm-hmm. It's based off of the Sandman. It's based mm-hmm. off of the Lucifer from the Sandman graphic novel. Mm-hmm. If anyone's read the Sandman, they will know that's one of the best graphic novels of mm-hmm. all time. I think they're making a fucking movie or TV show. Um, they're really making really a Dark Tower TV show based off of Stephen King. That books. isn't uh, Idris Elba is going to be that. Which, that okay. alone has me fucking want to watch okay. it. Okay, I love Stephen King TV shows. Uh, no, 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 it's not a TV show, it's a movie. It's a movie. Oh, oh. it's a movie. It's a Dark Tower movie. Okay. And they're making the, a spinoff the show. The one episode, the one show of Stephen King's that I remember when I was little was the one about the hospital. Uh, I don't know if you remember it. I remember a few, but not that one. Um, this one wasn't a book to start with. He wrote oh, a TV okay, show. That's probably why. And, like, the, the it was this fucking anteater that... <laughs> it would talk and okay. was it in Maine? Huh? But that, that, that's sure. the problem, Stephen King. I just after it, you've it seen some of his things, you see almost all of them. They always take either take place in Maine. Generally, there's a writer in it. Generally, you know, there's all these different things that he always yeah, but Dark, does. From what I've heard from Dark Tower, it's kind of this fantasy Western world, which can work. It's based on like a nine yeah. book series, which the, I haven't read any of the books. The Hulu show of with. Uh, James Franco, 
The oh, Stephen King one. I think Monday so. Yeah. English teacher going yeah. oh, I, I, to I, save JFK. That was the shit. The title of that show yeah, is, is the date. date. I just yeah. forgot what it was, but uh, I saw the first November twenty six. Uh, yeah, whatever. Yeah. I saw the first three episodes of that, and I just I stopped watching. Um, just for a few, for a few couple of reasons, but anyway, uh, what did you think of that? Did you like that? I liked it. Um, it wasn't. I'll say that it wasn't bad. I just no. stopped watching it. Compared to it's, what James it, Franco has done, yeah. <laughs> not being bad is fine. Yeah. Fuck it, we'll take it. But you, I'm also an English y'all like, teacher. And y'all like stupid shit. You have to realize this. Hey. <laughs> I, I mean, he liked the new Ghostbusters. So. Yeah. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Fair enough. But it also like good shit. <laughs> oh, okay. So speaking of Ghostbusters, and I know this is like the weirdest like off topic okay. of all time. I know. I know. We're I know. Ball. I'm going. TV. I'm going. Even Just give me there because it okay. Go. Go. Do it. Arrow. Go. Okay. Your like arrow. So. I finally watched. He unplugged our show last time. You remember that, right? Yeah, yes. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I will continue to hate this dude. All right, continue. What so, is- you know how in, um, er- you know how a while ago when we were talking about Ghostbusters, I made the joke about Chris, Hes- Chris Hemsworth that, mm-hmm. you know, oh, you're Thor, and that's it. We all know that. That's yeah. not the fucking. That's not the joke. You know. Yeah. Um, because I saw him in Rush. He was amazing in Rush. Yeah. He's been good on the shows. Oh, yeah. he's Chris Hemsworth was great. He's actually going to be in that Star Trek movie because he played Kirk's father I know. first. I know. That's great. Um, so, finally saw the, the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Like the, the oh, new out of the shadows? Yes. Oh, out of the shadows. I have yet to see it. It's on my Netflix list. I saw I it. it. And then, okay, so... He's not in that movie, is he? I don't know. Stephen Amell no, is. Stephen Amell is. Yeah, okay, Amell. I thought you were talking about Chris Hemsworth. Oh, no, like, God, no. Stephen Amell. So you know how, like... How did that go relate to it? <laughs> but no, let me just... Let me, let me bring it full round. It might not make any sense, but let me at least try to... Please do. <laughs> I might need to draw a chart on board. <laughs> well, when you connect to H and M... But you know how we said that, you know, Chris Hemsworth... Oh, you're Thor. No, no. Stephen Amell, all you fucking are are Arrow. That's all he is. Because mm-hmm. any other type of fucking character he tries to play, it's fucking terrible. It's terrible. Mm-hmm. Especially the fact that you ruined probably the best character in the entire fucking movie. I have not seen enough of Amel working to, to make a, I I feel like in the judgment. I will say only seen Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles oozes Michael Bay. Oh, to, yeah. I don't. I, I with all of the Transformers and these Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, I'm very. I'm. I don't want to specifically put any blame on any one actor, only because I feel like you can see the greasy fingers of Bay everything. So I don't know if that's Bay and Paramount. Yes, I don't know if that's Stephen Amell or Nickelodeon. if that's Michael Bay. No, you know what I mean? no, I'm, I'm and Nickelodeon. Part, no, that's Nick, true. Nick don't give a shit. Nick's got the fucking cartoon on the uh, that's gone four seasons. They have okay. no more worried about last that. week's NASCAR race. Yeah, was the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles four hundred. <laughs> that's Paramount. I think Paramount has a bigger play in the Grand it. Marshals with the fucking turtles. Look, I think Paramount has a bigger play in the, in the Turtles merchandise than Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon, I think uh, all they're really mainly worried about is the television show. Mm-hmm. We're not really that worried about. But the movie. that's what they were using was the TV show to. Right, but like that's yeah. that's not their main fear. But like that's all the fucking dude is because he's fucking terrible. Okay. And so we may want to actually get back to yeah. the false. Yeah. I'm just saying, like. Because I know Arrow's coming out in like two fucking weeks, and you guys believe time, we're gonna need time cards to go I, back I, up. I'm st- I think I think Amel is capable of more. I just don't think he's had the the the, the direction, the direction I, or the ability. See, yeah. I'm, I'm judgmental now because to me he has two strikes, and it's like to me three strikes. Oh, well, was your first? So you, hold on, are you talking for your first strike is what? Arrow. Arrow. You don't think he's good in Arrow? I think he was good in Arrow. I don't think he's good now. Okay. That's more of a show it, direction well, than him. Yeah, I don't know. It's first of all, you have hit and miss with no, 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 no. I take it back. No, it's not a show direction. It's also him as an actor because he, he was fucking terrible in season three and four. That's as an actor. As an actor, you also have a choice. Well, in certain, I mean, you're always hit and miss with wrestlers. I mean, you've got you know, The Rock turned out great, um, and then whoever, whoever plays uh. Captain Cold, that guy, wasn't he not a wrestler as no, well? No, he wasn't. He wasn't? He was not. I'm not sure. There was another he one was on Prison Break. That. He was on Prison Break. Yeah, I don't know, I'm thinking of somebody else. But anyway, like, sometimes it's just, it, it depends. Oh, Hulk Hogan. <laughs> but, you know, How the fuck did you get letters <laughs> talking about Hulk Hogan? Captain Cold. Hulk Hogan was a wrestler. That's what I'm talking, I'm talking about wrestlers. So it's hit and miss. It's hit and miss. I don't the know. The Rock. 
Chris Rock. They both got rocks in them. <laughs>